Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning. It is the 2nd of May, 2024. Mark's been reading through the book of 1 John. Today he's ready for chapter 4. This chapter says, Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Because there are many false prophets that have gone out into the world. It says, Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Is that your confession this morning, that Jesus Christ came in the flesh? It says, Every, every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ uh, Christ has come in the flesh is the spirit of Antichrist. It says, He that knoweth God heareth us. Um, and also it says, Let us love one another. And uh, it also says in this um, chapter that. There's no fear in love, but per- perfect love casts without fear. So I'm going to turn this over to Mark and let him read. I hope you have a good day today. And um, I hope that these readings are a blessing to you every morning. First John chapter four, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits where they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out of the world. Hereby know you the spirit of God, every spirit that confesses Jesus Christ has come in the flesh of the God. Every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. That spirit of Antichrist, whereof you've heard that should come even now already in the world. You are God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are the world, therefore, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know with the spirit of truth, the spirit of earth. The love of us, love one another. For love is of God, everyone that loves is born of God. And knoweth God, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God's love. And this was manifest the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only God the Son of the world that we might live through him. Here in his love, not that we love God, that he love us and sent his son to be permission for our sins. Beloved if God so love us, we also ought to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us and his love is perfecting us. Hereby know we that we will dwell in him, he in us, because he has given us the Spirit. He has seen and do testify the Father, sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, he in God. We have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Thereby is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because he is bold, so we are also in the world. There is no fear of love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear hath torment. He hath fear it is not fear made perfect to love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God, and hate not his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can you love God whom you not seen? This brethren, this commandment have we from him, that he who loves God loves his brother also. Thank you, Mark. Hope you all have a good day today. One of the most important scriptures is in that chapter, which is the shortest scripture, is we love him because he first loved us. A lot of people think that they chose God, but the fact is that God chose us in him before the foundation of the world. 
That's what my Bible says in Ephesians 1.